Hi, welcome to this video about changes in the way numbers are reported in APA 7th edition compared to APA 6th edition. Let's start with the abstract. In APA 6, there was a special way numbers were written in the abstract. Normally, numbers from 0 to 9 are written in words and above 9 in numerals. But in the abstract, the rule was that even numbers between 0 and 9 were written in numerals. With APA 7, this, this rule doesn't hold anymore. Now the numbers in the abstract are written the same as in the rest of the paper. Next, we'll be looking at imprecise dates. Days, months, and years. If they are exact measures, were written in APA 6 as numerals, but if they were not precise dates but just approximations, you had to write them as words. In APA 7, in both cases, you use the numeral. Next we'll be looking at mean and standard deviation for integer scales. That's a new rule with APA 7. If you measure something on an integer scale, and that's the rule for questionnaire data, that is, weighting scales, Likert scales, semantic differentials, you round to one decimal. The next change is about repeating descriptive data, which you have reported in a table. The old rule was, you do not need to repeat them in text. With APA 7 that has changed, now it is, do not repeat them in the text. So now it's explicitly forbidden. There are two exceptions that have stayed the same from 6 to 7. You should call out the table with the descriptive data in the text. And secondly, you may use the text to highlight important parts of the descriptive data. But repeating all your descriptive data in the text is not allowed in APA 7. And as a last point, there's a rule about definitions of abbreviations and symbols in APA 7 on the pages 183 to 186, there's a list with statistical abbreviations and symbols. When it comes to the definition, there's a distinction that has to be made. Statistical symbols, such as M or SD, abbreviations for statistics, for instance T, or Greek characters, as alpha or beta, are not defined in the paper, so you use them without defining them. However, other statistical abbreviations that do not represent statistics have to be defined. It can be statistical techniques as ANOVA, CFA, SEM, or for instance FIT indices like AIC or RMSEA. For those abbreviations, you have to define them before you use them. And since tables have to be self-explanatory, you have to define them in the note of a table if you use them in a table. Those are some main changes when it comes to numbers in APA 7, for changes in tables in APA 7, I've made a second video. The link is in the description.